tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Just tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Okay, I will. I want, I want a burger. And as promised in my last video, I'm going to go and review another burger joint. Um, I have been there before. It is nice, it's really good actually. Um, but I haven't had the burger I'm about to have, so catch up with me when I get there. I'm not going to say any more because it's spoiled it, but when I'm there, we'll catch up. Right, let's go. Go and seatbelt on, safety first as always. So we're on our way to Milton Keynes. Um, uh, Milton Keynes, probably a couple of hours away from here, so yeah, it's going to be, uh, be about lunchtime, I guess. I'm not sure what the time is now, but I reckon it'll be a big, probably about one o'clock, somewhere around there. So it's going to be busy, probably, I imagine. Um, and then we've got quite a lot coming up, actually. We're off to, um, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. Um, we're doing a trip um, this week. Um, and, oh, Van Lifer. Um, there's an app, there's an app, it's called Park for Life and a lot of van lifers use it um, and what it does, it just exposes all the spots um, which is great, it's great for if you want to do a stealth camp um, but the trouble is, everybody knows where they are so they're going to get busy um, is it good things or bad things? I don't know really um, you know, we're quite overpopulated in this country now, aren't we? So I'm not sure it's the best thing in the world ever, but it certainly does help when you're looking for places to stay. Um, I've got to say, like I said before, I'm more of a fan of campsite seats, so I can get the um, the driveway awning up and I can get um, I can get cooking properly with no fear of having to be moved on on that sort of thing. You know, you know what I'm saying, anyway. Well, guys, we are nine miles away. And yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting really hungry. I purposely didn't have any breakfast today because I wanted to be hungry when I got there, um, and it certainly worked. Right, I'm going to have to put on the satellite navigation. Um, anybody who knows, um, we're in Milton Keynes. Anybody who knows Milton Keynes, it's done. It's like um, it's done on like a um, grid grid system. So all the roads are horizontal or vertical and it's meant to make it easier but for me I just get lost in it I don't know where I am from one road to the next but anyway thank the world that we've got satellite navigation right let's have a look right we're seven minutes away and I am starving um, so let's get going oh, I think I can smell it <laughs> Right, so here we are guys, we have arrived. Right, so we've arrived. We are at the legendary Five Ackies. Um, now this is a company that um, set up, I believe, when the COVID lockdown happened. Um, and it was, it's a family-run company. They're, they're, they're five brothers. So Aki, I think, is Arabic for brother, um, which, you know, hence five Aki's, five brothers. It does, however, say on their website at the moment that um, it's owned by four brothers. I'm not sure if, that, if that's right or not, but um, he, one of them might have gone off and done something else, mightn't he? Um, so I have been here before. Um, and I've had a burger called the Juicy Lucy, um, which was amazing. It was, um, I think it originated in America, but it's a burger with Gouda cheese in the middle of it. So it's cooked inside the burger. So when you bite into it, it's like this molten lava of cheese coming out. And if you're a cheese lover, then, you know, it is, it is pretty good. Um, I will probably be back here sometime this year. Um, and I'll do a review on that for you as well. Um, today, I've decided that I'm going... Um, well, I'm going out... Of, I'm getting out of my comfort zone a little bit. Because I'm going to go for the... Um, the Big Aki, they call it. And it's the big burger they do. Um, but it's got a curveball on it. It's uh, It's got strawberry jam in it. 
Now, that isn't something that I would usually go for, but, you know, I'm open to everything, so I'm going to have a go on it anyway, and um, we'll see how we get on. So I haven't ordered it yet, I'm just going to order it now, I'm going to do it online, I'm going to sit here and wait for it, so I'll get it when it's all nice and hot and that. Order online, yeah, I'll order now, I'll order it online. We are open. So, the menus, here we go, so we're going to go for the big Aki, and I'll tell you what's in it when... Um, when I'll get back. So we had one of them. Um, would you like to have up? No, no. Make it a meal. Yeah, we make it a meal. We get um, we get classic fries. Now they do do um, various different drinks, mocktails, milkshakes, and all sorts of stuff. Um, I generally don't drink that stuff, so I'm just going to go go with what I got really. Uh, Load that down. I'm also gonna. I'm also gonna get some chicken. They do chicken wings and chicken um, tenders. I'm gonna go. I've had the wings before here, and they're really good. But I'm gonna go for the. Um, I'm gonna go for the tenders this time. I'm gonna see what they're all about. So you, you can get like um, sticky El Papa, uh, garnish with coriander and fresh lime. That sounds nice. Buffalo standard, uh, flaming mango, honey and garlic. I believe is very very popular. Um, I'm not going to go to hot ones. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to have a go on the old. So I'm going to have a go on the old sticky al papa tenders. Oh, let's have them as well. Right. Right. So that's it ordered. Um, didn't actually tell me what time it was going to be ready, but I'm going to give him like I don't know, 15 minutes, and then and then I'm going to go in. Um, so probably about 20 past one. I'll go in and have a look. Um, so I had a mate of mine, um, well it's not a mate of mine, um, I had someone talking to me about, um, you know, what I'm doing and, um, I go away in my van and we're going away tomorrow actually, um, and I had someone saying to me, um, you know, you, you don't, you're not in your van full time, well I'm not, what's the, uh, and then they say, well, you're not doing van life properly, are you? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like, you know, I work three days a week and then I go away in my van. Um, I don't get your point. I don't, I don't understand. I haven't claimed anything. You know, I'm just doing what I do and doing what I love. And it's, it's, it just say, it says to me, you know, you're too opinionated about what I'm doing, you, you want to go, is it something in your life that you're missing, you know, why don't you concentrate on yourself, why don't you do something, I, um, anything people do, I, I, I totally believe in them, and I think it's your, in your own headspace, if you're happy, then more, more of the time, you're, you're less negative about others, and, and I really, truly believe that if someone wants to do something, then just do it, like have a really good go at it you know um, because if you really want it you'll make it happen and this is why I do what I do because this is what I love to do and it, it, it keeps you know I'll, I'll go out on long walks along the coast and that and I just absolutely love it and um, it clears my headspace you know we all have, have um, hard times in life and we all have um, um, things that we have to deal with but you know you, you've got to get on with it and and I don't understand why this person said what they did and I don't really understand why it is a problem if that is true. Who knows? Maybe they could explain a little bit more to me. But there we go. I'm having a burger in a minute, so I'm definitely not going to be down. I'm going to be like, you know, happy as. Yeah, you know, I love I love burgers, you know, and and, and I I've got faith that this is going to be a good one. Um even even with the old strawberries. Right, so here we go. I've got it. Now, there's a few re reviews on there, on their um, TripAdvisor and things like that. And they're basically saying that it takes ages to order and this, that, the other, and, you know, it's not hot. Well, I put my order in, and it was ready in about... 15 minutes and they didn't mess about and I actually saw them play out when I walked in so I don't know what experience people have had but I've never had a bad experience here so let's just we'll see we'll see so what have we got I mean straight away 
straight away um, the packaging got a clean up wipe um, lemony fresh nice napkins and also another review said that um, they had to pay extra for sauces I didn't even ask for these so we've got um, maybe it's because I'm a youtuber I don't know but um, you know, I didn't ask for them, and I certainly didn't pay for them. So, thank you very much, Five Ackies. Um, there's the big boy. Ooh, heavy. And like I say, you just got to look at the packaging to know that that's pretty decent. So, we're going to sit that there. Wooden fork, you know. I can't fault it at the moment. Don't know what they are. Again, nice, nice boxes. Um, what I like is they, they do it all up with um, their own stickers and that. It's, it's just, it's just a nice thing to have. Like, um, and a can of Fanta. Now, price. This was about twenty-two quid, um, and I don't know. People say that's expensive. I don't think it's that expensive if it's good. You know, if I've seen them pay that, then pay half the price and have to kick it across a car park. So I'd, we'll find out, we'll find out anyway. So let's go in on the big, should we go with first? Go with the fries first, so we'll just have a quick look because it's really about the burger for me. Um, and again, as soon as I open these up, it's just great. They put a little salt in there for you. Now, it's these little touches that I think make it a good place. Um, yeah, fair play. I don't actually have salt, but we'll chuck that down there anyway. Um, wow, very nice. Immediately, immediately you can taste whether something's been cooked in dirty oil or week long or old, week old oil or in clean oil. And if they change, maybe they change their oils on, sat on Saturday, I don't know. But that is, that's a good chip. I think this is just the mayo they've chucked in, but I'll give it a go anyway. They got that kind of hollow -y fluffiness inside with a good crunch on the outside, which is exactly how I like them. Mm. I'm not happy with just the chips, to be honest with you. Yeah, these chips, ultra good, ultra good. Like I say, I didn't wait about. I got in there, they paid it up. Um, can't fault them. I'll go on this one and see what this is. Mmm. That's certainly it's better than a kebab. It's like a chili sauce. Mm. It's exactly what it is. Chili sauce is nice. It's really nice. Got a bit of a kick to it. Um, mm, lovely. These were free, guys. I didn't pay for these. They gave them to me. So I don't know what that review is about. Let's have a look at the chicken. Wow, again, presentation says it all, doesn't it? I smell incredible. Look at that. Incredible. Mm. Coriander. It's soft, it's juicy, it's got the crunch around the outside. The coriander's coming through with the chili. Got kick of, it's got a kick of chilli. These are the El Papo ones. Um, you know when you eat something and it really just, I mean my mouth is awash with so many flavours at the moment and it, it's, it's incredible. It really is. I, I, yeah, I would come here and just have these. Well, like I've got to say, these places have been here for a few years and um, yeah, it's still as good. It was really good. Now I've introduced a few people to this place and I've never heard anything bad said about it. I've got to say, I usually have the wings. Um, 
that's changed my mind. That has changed my mind. I would go to chicken tenders now because they are tender. Um, don't know what they're doing to it in there, but they're, they're doing something right. And I would come here purely for that. Anyway, let's have a little go on the old fan. Oh, I know what this tastes like. I ain't going to review that. By far my favourite. Wow, this has got um, beef bacon in it, it's got double cheese in it I think, um, two big burgers, it's got some strawberry jam in it, and that one's a bit of a strange one to me, but um, we're going to try anyway, give you a close up look at that, look at that, I already know it tastes good, I can smell it tastes good, so let's try. I don't know what to say. Um, the contrast in good and bad. Um, that, guys, look at it. That is, they're not stingy with the beef. Um, you know, it's it, the taste sensation. It's a bit messy, but um, you know, yeah, really good, really good. Um, some another go. Is this the best burger I've ever had? I'll tell you what, it's up there. It's up there. Chips are amazing. Chicken, wasn't expecting that, even better. Um, and the burger, wow. Five Aki's are doing it right. If I had to rate this out of 10, um, yeah, it's a high nine all day long, isn't it? Um, I hope this place never goes away. Um, it's just amazing. I love it. It's um, it's certainly given me a good, put me in a good mood for our trip that's coming forward. That's going to be a good one as well. But wow, I'll we'll drive two hours for this, and I would double that. I'll drive four hours for this. In fact, I'll drive overnight for this. This is what a burger should be. Um, you know, Five Aki's got it right at the start, and they they've still got it right. You know, free sauces, uh, condiments. You know, to clean up tissues salt in your chips so they don't over salt them they've got it right they this place cares and this is what i'm about you know you find a place that actually really cares about what they're doing you you can you can see it and you can taste it you can actually taste what they're doing and, and yeah fair play to you strong nine i'll never give 10 out of 10 because there's always something you can improve on but i don't know if this can you know, have they hit, have they hit the jackpot? I think, yeah, I think they might have. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, you know, today I feel like crying again, just for a completely different um, reason. I want to cry with joy. You know, I want to go and grab someone. I want to run down this uh, towpath here, the marina. Here. I want to run down this towpath, grab the first person I can, and you know, frog march them straight in there and say, "You need to eat this." This, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Well worth the visit. I was so blown away by that burger that I actually forgot about the um, strawberry jam in there. Um, yeah. It's not a strong taste of strawberry jam. In fact, it was only, a, <coughs> I think, just a small spread of strawberry jam. And yeah, it worked. It really worked. The whole burger worked. I caramelised onions in there. I didn't think a place could get any better. When I first came to this place, when they first opened. I thought, they're not gonna get any better than this. This, this is gonna be what it is for, you know, the duration, or they're, they're gonna get, um, they're gonna just get a little bit um, easier on it and it wouldn't be quite so good, take less pride in that, but they don't. This place has got better. You know, I didn't think I could ever say that, but it has, this place has got better and I'll take my hat off to Five Ackies. If I'm having a burger, I don't care where I am, mate. I'm driving here. Because that was just phenomenal. I'm sure there's other places, but... Yeah, this place is... is it's held its own, and it's... Um, you can see why. You can see why, everything about it. So, in summary, it's better than it was. Um, nine, or, or, you know, strong nine out of ten. Um, don't know about them funny comments on TripAdvisor, but um, I certainly experienced that. 
Um, well worth the money as well, guys. The, the burgers, they are 28 day aged Aberdeen Angus and you can taste it and they season it lovely yeah that was really really good I'm absolutely stuffed now um, I'm going to go the country way home just because it's a nice day and um, I like being out and about don't I so, so thanks for watching guys and hit like subscribe whatever you want to do and um, I'll catch up with you on the next on the next episode